I love making music. Robots, we are robots, we are robots, so I thought I'd do some more music projects. You should check out the video that I did with Look Mum No Computer and check out his channel as well. So today I thought I'd start with quite a simple project. We're going to make a graphic EQ display with laser projectors. Right, I've got a laser pointer here that's really bright. In fact, I've got seven of them. So what we're going to do is actually project laser lines on the wall, seven of them, and we're going to strip out seven frequency bands from the audio, and then we're going to increase the length of a line depending on the amplitude of each frequency band. So first of all, we need to make some laser lines. So if you move a laser up and down really quickly to the human eye, it looks like a solid line if you go fast enough eventually. And the normal way to make a laser line is to use a spinning mirror. So I've got some 20 by 20 millimeter mirrors here, which we're going to spin round and that's going to project hopefully seven solid laser lines. So we're going to stick these all the way around 2020 extrusion on all four sides in seven locations, shine seven laser pointers at it, and spin this round and hopefully that will project a straight line. All right, there we go. We've got our 28 mirrors stuck on, so one on each side and seven positions there for our seven bands of EQ. So now I guess we should design something to spin this round. So this is going to get spun round by a motor with this pulley and then we're going to shine lasers on each of the mirrors. So if we get them just right, we should be able to project a laser line. So hopefully as I turn this, you should be able to see a green laser line being projected on the wall behind me. Yes, I've got laser safety glasses because lasers are dangerous. These ones are pretty high power and if you point them in your eye, you'll probably blind yourself. So be really careful you mess around with lasers. These ones weren't two pounds either, they were 40 pounds. The actual proper ones with a certification. So I've now got this brushless motor. It doesn't have to be a brushless motor. This is a brushless in runner that goes pretty quick. We could use a DC motor. I just happen to have one lying around and a radio controlled car speed controller. And that's driven by a servo PWM signal. So I'm just driving that off the Arduino Mega that's going to control everything. I've got two pots for now. One is going to be sensitivity of the whole system eventually. And this one is the speed control of the motor. So for now we can just control that motor speed. So I was a bit worried about the frame rate of the camera and the rate at each time the laser comes around and whether that's going to cause any weird effects. But if I run this fast enough without the mirrors flying off and use a slow enough exposure on the camera, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. We've also got the laser here mounted on a bracket. Eventually we'll have seven, so you can just see that. So now let's see if we can make a solid laser line and film it. So I'm running that quite slowly actually, but hopefully you can see the green laser line it's producing, which uh, goes all the way up, right up, all the way up there. So that's more than good enough. And that looks pretty good on camera, so pretty sure there's no problems with the frame rate. Of course, we'll have seven of those eventually. So it's easy enough to generate seven laser lines, but what we need to do now is adjust the height of each laser line based on the amplitude of seven frequency bands coming from the audio. So what we could do is sync the lasers with the mirrors coming around so they turn on and off at the right time. So basically, as the laser 
hits the mirror, as the mirror comes up, it turns on at the bottom and off at exactly the right height, and does that for all four sides. That's going to take quite a lot of fast processing to sync everything up uh, with an encoder that looks at the mirrors and turns the lasers on and off at the right time, if in fact they will turn on and off that fast. Um, and that's going to cause me some more frame rate sync issues with the camera. So what I'm actually going to do is actually just put mechanical shutters on on a servo. And that looks like this, which is basically something that sits above each one. And there's a servo here, radio control servo. And each one's got a shutter that can winch back. And then we can basically adjust the height of those servos for the seven frequency bands, and that will actually shutter the laser line being reflected off the mirror. Right, I now have seven of these shutters installed, and each one's on a servo, so it can shutter the laser beam down. I've only actually got three lasers, I'm waiting for four more to arrive, uh, but then we'll have the whole machine. So the next thing is how are we actually gonna strip out the frequency bands to control the servos. And if you know why I've used seven bands, then you'll know what I'm gonna use to do it. Yes, it's the MSG EQ7 seven band graphic equalizer chip, which is very useful for making seven band graphic equalizers. I've actually got a pair here soldered on a bit of breadboard, uh, which I've used in other projects. I use them in Ultron's ears so it could detect which way it could hear you from. Uh, these ones are from wizoo.com and you can also get the Arduino library which supports a stereo pair. So uh, there we go, we're going to use one channel for now. We could do stereo and have uh, 14 bands essentially, but for now we're just going to use one side on our seven bands. So the MSG EQ7 code's pretty simple. All you need to do is include the library, define some pins. In fact, we've got two analogues here. Uh, the whole lot of the data comes through an analog pin essentially. So uh, we've got two pins there for left and right. We're only going to use one of them. We've got a reset pin and a strobe pin, which are wired directly to the breakout board. Um, some other things are defined and it starts up the instance of the MSG EQ7 here. Um, the rest of the stuff is for my motor speed control. So all we actually need to do to read it is to do um, what it says here, which is basically an MSG EQ7 read. And then we specify a frequency band um, and a channel and we can strip out those seven frequency bands. So let's start up some music. So now if we start up a serial monitor, we can see some random numbers that don't mean much. So let's have a look in the serial plotter. That looks better. So there we go, so now we can use those seven frequency bands, which are essentially seven variables, to control our seven servos. So that seems to work pretty well, but before I can show you working with lasers and smoke and stuff, I need to tell you about the sponsor for this video. And this video is sponsored by Skillshare, which is an online learning community with more than 25,000 classes in design, business, and even electronics. Skillshare is pretty affordable. It's only $10 a month on a one year plan for premium membership, which gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are just right for you. So whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even career, Skillshare is perfect place to keep you learning and thriving. So you can learn all sorts of stuff, including Arduino, electronics, 3D printing, a bit of robotics, lots of other creative stuff, and lots of things that I do. So join more than 7 million other creators learning with Skillshare. The first 500 of my subscribers who use the link in the description below to sign up for Skillshare will get a two month free trial. So make sure you do that before everyone else does. Right, now it's time to check if the laser EQ machine works.
that seems to work pretty well. Obviously, there's several improvements we can make, including fanning all the lasers out so the projection's much wider, and we could project it on the side of a building or something like that, which would look pretty good. So thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Don't forget that the first 500 of my subscribers who use a link in the description to sign up get a two-month free trial. All right, that's all for now. Robots, we are robots.